Hello, I'm meteorologist Brian Ivey from NeoWeather for Snowplow News and Landscape News. And we're going to get into a wetter pattern here. Significant rain across portions of New Mexico, all the way up into portions of the plains and in towards the Midwest and even the Great Lakes. Michigan back in towards New England as we go eventually. The land of cheese curds in Wisconsin seeing a decent amount of rain and then very cold air stretching across portions of the West and even in towards the central portion of the country as a cold front does swing down. That'll allow for some snow showers to get as far east as probably the Dakotas, at least mixing in. Fargo area, yeah, a few flakes possible. Little teaser into early winter here, that's for sure, with some widespread rain. Definitely a pattern change to a wetter pattern in areas that do need it, but unfortunately, too much of a good thing in a lot of spots too. This is an additional two to four inches of rain coming from pretty much Michigan back towards the west and southwest, dipping down through the Oklahoma panhandle and into Texas and then in towards portions of New Mexico and the desert southwest as well. That's significant rainfall there, over four or five inches possible at least. Oh boy, so that'll cause some flooding issues. Flood watches are already out for pretty much all of that area. But this is all due to a big pattern change. All this heat and humidity is gonna break down and hit off towards the east southeast with this cold front coming in. Lots of cool air from Canada, you can see, just dispersing the heat through the Ohio Valley, Great Lakes, and especially in New England. These are gonna be some pretty cool temperatures up here across portions of Maine into New Hampshire and upstate New York as well. It won't last forever. We're gonna build in another area of ridging here across the middle of the country, and that will push east. But it's certainly a major shot of some true fall weather as we go towards the weekend. Now, we're going to get into that wetter pattern, too. Notice across the UP of Michigan, getting into us almost some of those blue colors, and same thing up in New England. Very nice cold shot, pushing in some rain as well, and then this system will form across the middle portion of the country and could move into the drought-stricken areas across the Tennessee Valley through the southeast as well. But the big story is going to be Ohio Valley Midwest. This could be a pretty decent rain event as we go through the early portions of next week. We'll see exactly how it develops. Model consistency is not perfect, but it is looking like there will be a rain event and it could be decent at this point. I'd say generally across portions of the Midwest in towards the east and especially up into the northeast at this time. So that'll signal the change to a overall wetter pattern than normal and some of those areas that certainly need it hair across the middle of the country and then off towards the east in the about 10 to 14 day period. We have a lot of accurate detailed weather information that's specific for your location and the impacts to your snow and ice management operation. Weather apps can't cut it. It's just a single stream of garbage in, garbage out data with no meteorological input, no human input at all. Trust in a weather and consulting service. We'll be happy to help you out.